Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Steel Talon, who wanted a Doga-type mobile suit, uh, preferably a Yogged Doga in Rambaral colors. So, that's what I've got here, of course. I'm using the Quest-type uh, Yogged Doga, to be specific, because it's the only one I own. I understand the Gune is a very good raid, and it has slightly different... Uh, uh, different uh, shield beams, uh, whereas they both get the same defense when it's charging. But uh, the uh, Quest Doga has piercing on its, and the Gune, I believe, has heavy stagger. So, you know, different animal there, but the, uh, the Quest Doga, you know, you can do a lot with that piercing beam, and it's still, because it's a support, it is a pretty high damage attack. So, got, got no complaints about it, personally. Um, funnels are pretty good. Uh, they do pretty high damage. I forget what attacks they have. I think it's follow and, or it's side and, uh, back, possibly. But yeah, just like all, as also all the Dogas, I, all the Neo Zeon, uh, Shar Neo Zeon suits have different sets of, uh, funnel skills. No, none of, none of the Shar's counterattack stuff has a full complement of fun, funnel abilities the way the Cubile does. So, I thought that was kind of interesting. But, yeah, it has rear attack and side attack. Rear attack, I believe, stuns, but, you know, will always, uh, will always, uh, overheat after one shot. It does, as you saw, however, from the numbers going up on, like, three different people have piercing. Just use the shield beam to finish somebody off. And I may have mentioned the defense bonus. In case you don't know this, it has... It has a uh, defense bonus on the shield uh, when charging that negates most beam damage and most beam stagger. So it uh, it's much harder to stun if you hit the, uh, the little buckler. Unfortunately, it is a little buckler, not a big shield. But I'd love to see the Bawu get, uh, or at least a version of the Bawu get revamped to have that. But uh, regardless, just looking for a weapon that has a charge now. And I've got it. But regardless, it's a good skill, and since there's also a damage reduction skill that's always active on the shield, you can end up taking really minuscule damage if you take a, a shot to the charging shield. Again, it's just a matter of positioning. You do At least you're guaranteed when you have that weapon readied up and charging that you're holding it out in front of you, which is, you know, more, than, more positioning than you can do without, you know, changing the direction you're moving with most shields in GBO2. But it's still one of those things where, uh, you know, it's a, it, it's a, a good, it's a useful thing, but how useful comes entirely out, uh, down to luck. So, you know, most people are going to be pretty good at aiming around you, so that's just something to watch out for. This is, incidentally, a level 1 quest doga, the 650 and the 700 room. So, I think, yeah, I think in general I'm uh, doing pretty well. And I've gotten some good kills, I've gotten some good damage in. I'm waiting for my shield, I think, to be back. Yeah, my shield's ready, and if I'd been charging sooner, if I'd thought of it, if I'd w uh, gotten a good lineup, I might have been able to get two or three things with that piercing. But as it is, I just hit the Sosby for about 5,900 damage, which is pretty good. I'm so focused on, you know, just throwing damage in that cluster behind me, in front of me, I did not realize there was somebody behind me. The good news, I think, is, yeah, it is a... Zekuwein's type 2, so it is a support like I am, so not the most damage I could be taking. Uh, at, at least, I think they have a Gune Doga on their, uh, on their uh, team, and that's a good thing to not be hit by if I'm me. Because, okay, 2200, I don't think all the beams from the shield hit. Somebody took out the Zeku, I'm throwing some shots downfield just to try and take out whatever's over there, but... Uh, I'm going to need to get much closer to do that, and I'm going to, oops, accidentally locked onto the base, so time to change. Okay, it looks like the Zeku uh, Type 2 respawned, I think, so, and I'm locked onto it, so that's good. And Beam Gatling, yeah, the Beam Gatling is negligibly not as good as the Yoga Vertexes, but I think that's just because the uh, Quest Doga has a lot more ranged mod to push it. And also so the Gune Doga can, uh, you know, have some kind of disadvantage. Managed to downswing the Sosby after my, uh, after tagging it, so... Unfortunately, that turned, that put my back to the enemy team again, so I am good as dead. Yep, there we go. Sosby managed to catch up and get me, but... It's a shame, I, but I did pr uh, hit it pretty hard, so... But si sadly, the knockdown hit its gigantic shield, so I wasn't able to do any extra damage from that. 
Not like the Questoga has like tremendous melee attack, but it does have some. Uh, we are very slightly ahead, 88-19 to 85-69. And we are pretty much camped up at the enemy base, which, you know, they're still keeping it a fairly even fight despite that, so... And I am just going to jump in. Somebody, I think, is going to launch some uh, support fire, which, when you have the en enemy pushed this far back, is not a bad move. Okay, and that is zoomed in and scoped to just to get as much damage out of that as possible. Trying to get in funneling range, and I have it. And that should hopefully be a kill. Ah, I had to fi finish it with the beam gatling, but a kill it was. Throwing uh, missiles out and throwing funnels out which I don't think they did any damage. They may have locked onto the base by mistake. Trying to lock onto something other than the base uh, around this corner, but it's not quite working out. But now I'm going to do something really dumb and start charging. Ah, yeah. I got a jump shot with the shield, so... Ah, not as effective as it could have been, but it kept that Gune Doga still uh, for the rest of the team to deal with it, and I managed to, you know, get the kill out of all of that, so... And unfortunately, my... Uh, my uh, uh, funnels coincided with counter animation, so they didn't really do any damage. That happens. Uh, somebody threw funnels at me. I'm not sure who. Probably from the range. Probably a Sazabi. But I'm not 100% sure. Could be the Gune Doga. I'm not sure what the range on its funnels are like. Let's see. That's somebody. I'm charging the shield again. And nailed the uh, Sazabi, I believe. And that is another kill. And there's that. And... Got that. Yeah, so uh, I'm doing pretty well here, I think. You know, grabbing kills where I can, doing damage where I can, stunning things to, uh, to help the team as best uh, as I possibly can. You know, not just grabbing kills, but, you know, contributing while I do. And support fire came in. Luckily, I'm not it, so... And that Doga is dead, so no point firing any further. Uh round is almost over and we are kind of going the insult to injury route by attacking their base and just waiting for a good angle on that okay well they knocked each other over so yeah now I've got one I don't think we destroy the base before the uh, round is over so but even though this is kind of a kind of runaway I just you know it's one of those ones where I got a score good enough I felt like showing it off anyway and I thought I had some decent moments here and there now that there's enemies fighting us too, we're not going to have time to uh, finish off the enemy base, even though we are trying. But And they're, you know, picking off a few of us and catching up, so, you know, good for them. Charging the big beams, waiting for my opportunity, because there's not a lot of time left to take it. 6400, just hammer that with beams and manage to get the kill at the last second. So, yeah, not bad at all, 18,000 to 11,000. And, let's see. Uh... And yeah, I think I got the colors pretty well. That 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 lighter blue was kind of hard to get in a good range that was not Guff Custom. But uh, 7,000 out of our 18,888 were my points. And I got 9 kills, 1 death, and 140,000 damage. So, yeah, I like the Questoga. It is pretty good. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. Hope you liked the round. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I have this horrible habit of just tweaking colors over and over and over again. Not just like with the requests where there's like one specific shade that I keep messing with, but just on this, I must have gone through three or four different versions of the Rambaral colors before I found one that I liked, because just, you know, every, t every time I do it, I have a slightly different impression of what it is I want to do, and I end up trying them all.